Hi everyone, this is the Lighthouse Lady. Today we're going to show you how to winterize the Coachman CrossFit 2019. It has the Truma Combi system, so winterizing is a little different. Alright, this is the main drain shutoff from the main tank. What you have to do, it's closed in this position. In other words, it's closed where it will not drain. You turn it counterclockwise, a quarter turn. Of course, it's counterclockwise looking at it from this angle. And that's an open position. And it is draining at this point. You can see this tank has about between a quarter and a half of a tank. That's you know roughly a third of a tank, maybe a little bit more and it is draining that to the outside right now. There's three drains here. One, two, three. They go to the outside, but these top two are overflows. This is, uh, these top two lines are overflows in case you overfill your tank from the connection outside to your city water. It will overflow and dump out underneath. That's open and it's draining from the main tank and that shuts it off. Before you go on your next trip after you've winterized this, make sure you have all your valves closed off. Okay, this is the hot and cold drain lines that run towards the front of the van. They supply water mainly to the sink in the kitchen. There's two of them. And these are in the shutoff position. It's just a drain. All that is is a drain to the outside for winterization. They're closed off so water will circulate through the system. To, to open them and drain them, you have to turn them a quarter turn counterclockwise, like so, both of them, and let it drain, just like on the main tank that we just previously did. There's one red line, one blue line, that we'll have some still pictures of to show you. Alright, this is the hot and coal lines that drain the system that goes to the front of the van, in other words, to the sink. It's on the passenger side. Uh, so these are now in the closed shut off position because if they're open the water from your tank and your system will just drain out of these lines underneath the van onto the ground. These are here for winterization so you leave them closed when you're using it and you open it a quarter turn counterclockwise on both of these and that starts the draining process to drain these lines. You do not use the RV antifreeze on this system because it has the Truma hot water heater and furnace system and the dealership and the manufacturer both claim that it's an absolute no-no not to get the RV antifreeze into the Truma system. So this is always a non-antifreeze system, a gravity drain and pressure drain system. Okay, alright, this is... This is the main drain for the Truma, and you just open it by flipping it up to that position, and it's a gravity drain. This is the drain for the Truma hot water heater as well as the furnace. There should never be any RV antifreeze put through this system. the water is drained from all your lines, run air through your lines to dry it out. Mm -hmm. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the description below. And thank you for watching.